Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about percent of change. Percent of change has to do with the amount of increase or decrease of a certain total based on what is added or what is subtracted. Percent of increase allows us to relatively judge how significant something is as far as a change is concerned. For example, if I have five million dollars and I add one dollar, that's not a lot in comparison to someone who only has three dollars and you give them a dollar. And so percent of change allows us to talk about how much relatively has been added or subtracted. Obviously, increase would be adding more. And decrease would be taking away. And so when I talk about the percent of increase or decrease, the percent of increase or dec decrease is calculated by the amount of change over the original amount. And to get a percent, we're going to multiply that by 100 or move our decimal point two places. Let's look at an illustrated example of this. So when we're talking about percent of change in this first example, let's say, for example, we have four blocks. And what I start out with is my original amount. And so if I have these four blocks here, that's my original amount. Whether I add or subtract from that, that gives me my percent of change. So let's say, for example, I have these four here, and I decide to add one more. Well, then I need to figure out what exactly my percent of change is. And so if 4 was my original amount, I'm adding one more. Well, the percent of change is calculated based on what was originally there. So if I have four of these, I know that each of them re represents 25% of, of my total. And so my percent of change is going to be this 1 over the original 4, or an additional 25%. So right now I have 125% of my original total. So I started out with four blocks. My original amount would be that four blocks. And my amount of increase was one block. Well, one out of four is 0.25, which is 25%. So it was a 25% increase because I added more. So I take the amount of change, find it as a percent using decimals, and then calculate it in relative in relationship to what I originally had. If I look at a more real lifey type of example, in one school, the number of students enrolled in the school last year was 825 students. In the following year, there were 870 students enrolled in the school. What was the percent of change? I'm trying to pull out a calculator here. Because basically what we're going to say is we're going to find the change over the original. Well, what did I start out with? My original amount was 825 students. And the amount of change is what I ended up with minus the original amount. So when I do that, I get 870 minus 825. I had an increase of 45 students. Well, the 45 students is in relationship to that 825. And when I calculate that as a decimal, I get 0 0.055 rounded which as a percent would be 5.5%. And the question is, is it increase or decrease? Well, if I had 825 to begin with, and then I was at 870, I know that that was a 5.5% increase. Okay, so that's the basics of percent of change. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.